Legislators are past the halfway point in the legislative session. Gun laws have brought out a lot of passion from both sides on the issue. There is no different concept. WMA2 News' John Harrison spoke with those with very strong opinions on this topic today. Long lines to sign up to testify. All you're doing is making it harder on us. A packed hearing room and even an overflow room set up so no one will be left out from having their say in what we saw in our capital city today. Lawmakers listened to nearly 20 new gun bills today. Some aren't happy with the proposed changes to our firearm regulations. Everything bothers me about that. Opinions from both sides of the gun issue were fired up, hoping to hit their mark with each legislator. Some proposed new gun laws involved how we store our guns at home. The current law says you may not leave a loaded firearm accessible to a child in the house under the age of 18. The new law would make it under the age of 21. Some say it's not just about hurting others. Also the issue of suicide and kids who are impulsive, who are having a bad day, have had some horrific fight on social media, turning to that as an easy answer. Gun legislation was changed drastically during Martin O'Malley's administration. Lawmakers also considered legislation that would make you apply for a long rifle or shotgun just like a handgun, obtain a permit and a waiting period. At that time, gun advocates said this is just one step to abolishing guns altogether. I filled out something for almost every single one. Okay. Carla Mooney is a qualified handgun instructor with the Well-Armed Women Organization. Mooney thinks those fears that were born during the O'Malley tenure may be legitimate. That was just the beginning. They're chipping away a little at a time, trying to desensitize us to what they really want. They really want to take away our guns. Well, this is not intended to take guns away from anybody who should have them legally. No, they, they sit in their seats here and they've got 24-7 protections and uh, no one's going to bother them. They don't live out in the real world where, you know, they have break-ins and crime and that sort of thing. Um, you know, they're, they're taking our right to protection away from us while, you know, they're, they're living large and, and uh, they've got their taxpayer-paid pr protection around the clock. Lawmakers started this hearing at 10 o'clock this morning and it will go well on into the evening. Not all of these bills will make it out of the committee to be voted on the House floor. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.